Hey, thanks for joining us for Grown Man Record Night on our special Christmas party edition, our holiday party. And we've been spicing in some uh, Christmas music this evening. And uh, this is our portion of the Dig of the Week. Dig of the Week. And uh, we appreciate everybody hanging out with us here at, uh, so close to Christmas. Uh, when everybody's thinking about family and getting together and having a good time, and that's what we're doing here. we got a special guest coming up here momentarily. Uh, we're listening to some one of these random Christmas records right now. Uh, you know, everybody's got quite a few Christmas records. You never pull them out. It's like the land of the misfit toys, man. Like uh, every uh, every you know ten months or so, the, these records jump out of your stack and like, oh, play me! Oh, this is appropriate. It's appropriate. You can play me now. Yeah, I've been sitting on the shelf all year. My life is terrible. But you pull them out and you play them and it makes them happy. And uh, there's, I've got a bunch of those and it's cool. I pulled some out. I found some random uh, baloney on here. Hang on, let me set down the digs of the week real quick. Oh no, avalanche, avalanche. Um, so one of these Christmas records, where that red one go? No, 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 it's this one here. We heard this earlier, and I was kind of uh, slamming through this, and I'm like, wow, this is a pretty good Christmas record. It's got Bing Crosby, Glenn Campbell, Roy Clark, Nat King Cole, and I was like, <gasps> and, we, and we played a Merle Haggard, but I saw Donna Fargo, and Donna Fargo is actually from the uh, Mount Airy area, and uh, had the pleasure a couple of years ago of making a commercial uh, with Donna Fargo. Uh, she was a nice lady. Pretty lady. Older lady. Pretty lady. And uh, she was nice to me. And uh, I appreciate her. Uh, my mom said, oh yeah, she was hot hot potatoes. Hot potatoes back in the day. Um, that all those people was like, oh yeah, Donna Fargo. She had some, uh, she had some hits. So anyhow, it's cool. I was digging through the Christmas records to put on the night. And we played one earlier. It was Donna Fargo, Mount Airy, friend of mine, number one friend of mine. We're going to uh, get together on Christmas Day. I'm going to give her a turkey leg. Give her a turkey leg. So, uh, uh, anyhow, that was cool. On to our uh, dig of the week. And... Um, I want to mention a record. It was almost kind of a slam dunk, and I've never mentioned it uh, uh, up to this point other than the simple fact I've had it. Almost kind of felt like it was a slam dunk, like I didn't want to talk about it because it was too obvious. George Benson, The Cookbook. Excuse me. The George Benson Cookbook. Look at this record cover. I didn't even listen to this. I didn't look up a sample. Uh, I didn't do anything. But the cover has some uh, African-American gentlemen. Uh, with some uh, cooking equipment from the 60s, some appliances, and some, like, dapper suits. Five dollars. So, I'll buy that every GD time. And, uh, but it turned out to be one of my favorite jazz records of all time. And the song, The Cooker, it's got it's featuring Lonnie uh, Smith on organ. If you're not familiar with Lonnie Smith, he's one of the top organists uh, through this uh, era and uh, you know George Benson he's got some like laid back chill like grown folk vibe stuff that I don't care for too much even though I bought because it it's a dollar uh, but some of this stuff like the cookbook is awesome and I've got a weird this is a great record and I really love it we listened to it earlier Eddie Lockjaw Davis who we spoke about before on the program also has a, a double LP, and this is a promo. That that uh, George Benson cookbook was from '66, right? Um, and it was like a, a renowned jazz album. Here's a record in '74. Oh, my hand hurts, cramping. Um, this is a promo album from Eddie Lockjaw Davis, which I got. Another one. It's called The Cookbook. 
Now, why would this dude come out with a record that sounds almost like the same thing as uh, George Benson in 66? It's The Cookbook, and it's really good. It's a double LP. This is a promo copy. It says, special promotion with an orange background on the front of it. And the back says, promotional uh, record for uh, broadcast and review not for sale. We love the promo copies. Big up to Sean in New Jersey. I know he loves the promo promo copies as well. Um, so, yeah, this is a great record, too. But I didn't know if any of my jazz heads know the correlation out there. Uh, we got a 66 George Benson called uh, the George Benson Cookbook. And then we got the Eddie Lockjaw Davis in 74, like, the cookbook. So why would you name it the same thing? Unless there's some kind of story that I'm missing. I don't know that story. Somebody tell me the story. Uh, moving right along, we want to introduce a special guest this evening. My man, uh, my man Carl is up from Wilmington, North Carolina, and uh, he's brought a record up here uh, that's one. Uh, it's it's a it's a new job on me. Uh, I've never seen this before, and so uh, let's bring on Carl to talk about this record um, that we're going to listen to. We got it queued up. We're going to hear it here momentarily. So uh, hats off to Carl. He sweat my shirt. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank everyone here at Grown Man Record Night. I'm Carl, also known as The Envelope, coming from Wilmington. And I'm coming off a fresh dig, probably the best dig I've ever had, at the local junk store, you know, down and dirty, back at the shop, covered in junk and dust. And I got an album here tonight. Uh, this is Beach Beat Records. Uh, I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina with Ocean Drive. This is, this is a classic beach music compilation. Uh, we're about to listen to side three. This has got artists like Archie Bell and the Drills, Barbara Lewis, Sam and Dave, the Drifters, all sorts of good beach music classics. This one came out in 1980. It's a two album set. There, uh, there are three volumes that they produced. Uh, this is volume one, released 1980. Volume two came out in 81, and volume three came out in 83. Um, these are very rare these days. It was a lucky find, and I got it for a dollar. <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you. I know this is, um, this, this comes up, this Beach Beat Records. This is like a subsidiary of Atlantic. I looked this up earlier. If you know, no, no, Warner, Warner, Warner. yeah, Warner. it's yeah. like this uh, weird, Warner like, yeah, wet, Warner special products. Do you have any idea how this record ended up getting released out of Raleigh? Uh, not completely, but I know Warner back in the eighties did some special projects, kind of as almost as a franchisee for smaller labels that were trying to put out material and needed a bit of production assistance or the factory capacity to be able to release on this scale on the back of this one we've got a uh we've got a little explanation here by uh it's by larry crockett from wkix of raleigh north carolina and i'm not quite familiar with that station um but like i said this is 1980 so it could I be was, gone by now i don't yeah, yeah i was four years old i wasn't listening to much radio the KRP. cincinnati But this compilation was put together just as a uh, commemorative of, like, just a classic beach music collection. Um, some of them were number one hits. Some of them are obscure outside of the South and the beach music scene. But they're all good. It's a great soundtrack. And I think it's one of the best digs I've ever had. So for Dig of the Week, Ocean Drive. Grown Man right yeah, that's cool, man. I've never seen this before. This is a brand new one on me, and the track list is bananas. This is double LP, right? Double LP. Double LP, and it's got, I mean, uh, is this ending? Yeah, we got a couple. We're, we're going for side three. We're going to hear these, but let's uh, let's talk about a few of the others we're not going to hear. Uh, we've got uh, Barbara Lewis on a couple songs here, uh, The Drifters on several different songs. We're going to hear one Drifter song up on the roof, a classic. But uh, we've also got uh, The Tramps, Hold Back the Night. Uh, 
Jones, 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 Jet, Jet, Carl. Jet, Jones, Jet, Carl. Jones, Jet, Carl. It's not with me. It's at the house. Buck, 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 buy you. Heart. They're hot. We got some under the boardwalk on here. Miss Grace, uh, Sam and Dave, Soul Man. The Tighten Up by Archie Bell and the Drill is a classic right there. One of my favorites, Walking Up a One Way Street by Little Known Willie T. But if you ever see any Willie T out there, pick it up, because that's some good music. So, without any further ado. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, man, we're going to get that on here in just a second. Uh, that's a great, man, I've never seen that at all. And that, that's a great who's who of stuff. And we're going to bring this shit up, coming up just directly. want to mention one more record. Uh, real quick, real quick, real quick. I know we're running long on the dig of the week. Check it out. West, Bruce, and Lang. Oh, why don't you? Uh, Pick this up. I really didn't know what it was, but it looked real classic rock. There's a, there's a rather beefy dude down here in the corner. That dude's putting on some LB, son. He likes some, he likes some pork ribs. That's all right. Thick dudes. That's all right. We're all about thick dudes around here. Bears and whatnot. Dudes with their shirts off. It don't matter. Sasquatches. Sasquatches. Uh, it don't. It doesn't matter. But anyhow, this has got this has got uh, 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 Jack Bruce from Cream on it. This is this is considered like a uh, super group from like seventy two, seventy three. No, this is yeah seventy two. It's got uh, Leslie West, uh, Jack Bruce, and Corky Lang. And I looked this shit up. Uh, but earlier, and the only one I can remember, obviously, is Jack Bruce and Cream. So this was considered like a super group. And I picked this up at the library sale. And uh, uh, when I put it on, it's like really jamming. Like for 72, this is pretty thick and gnarly and heavy. And uh, I appreciate it. And I've had it a little while, and I've not mentioned it. So I figured we'd give it its due. And, man, we appreciate Carl coming by and hanging out with us. And uh, Carl wants to talk about another record. Yeah, since we're jumping in for one more, I thought I would jump in for one more also. And this is, came out of that same dig, the ultimate dig last week. This is an old Drifter's Golden Hits. This was released in 1968. Uh, it's a compilation of the best songs off their first four albums. And it's got all the classics on it. If you're a beach music fan, this is... This is definitely a go-to album. I've had it a week, and I've played it probably a dozen times already. I'm in love with it. I mean, it's just the classic 60s cover, Atlantic Records. And, so, and back in 1988, somebody so bought it for $7.50. <laughs> Check that price tag. So here we go on that ocean drive. Starting off with some March Bell and the Drills. Gonna be a showdown. Back when you could take a man to the dance floor. I'm out. Thanks for joining us for Grown Man Record Night and this installment of Dig of the Week. Here comes that classic compilation, Ocean Drive. And we appreciate Carl hanging out with us. We're coming back with Chip Chat directly. Thanks for hanging out. 